After what happened to Hillary fainting yesterday and coming out about an hour later feeling perfectly great, Hillary Clinton may drop out of the presidential election. Democrats are now lining up candidates amid Hillary's health scare. Top Democrats are meeting in order to consider a replacement for Hillary after what happened to her fainting in New York at the 9-11 ceremony due to her bout with pneumonia. Meanwhile, the planned campaign stops have been dropped as she modifies her schedule following her doctor's advice to stay at home and recover. She has to stop all interviews, debates, campaigning, traveling. She's 68 years old. She was rushed out of the commemorative services, suffering from her medical episode, her fainting. She was dragged into her van, taken to Chelsea's apartment to recover about an hour later. As she emerged, a newer, thinner, lipoed woman, and she even had different earlobes, her hair was a little bit longer, her face, her skin tighter, and uh, various other aspects of her appearance were totally different than the Hillary that fainted. A video later emerged of the Democratic nominee, Hillary, showing the moments when her knees buckled, she nearly crumpled to the pavement while waiting for her van to come and collect her. Sources claim that the uh, Democratic insiders are rushing to consider her replacement in light of her now emerging truth concerning her poor health. It's very sad because a few days ago she proved to us how healthy she was by opening a jar of pickles. So the Emmy Award winning New York journalist and MSNBC pundit David Schuster tweeted, Clarification from DEM operatives at Hillary Clinton pneumonia. Expect emergency DNC meeting to consider her replacement. I wonder if that will mean that Bernie Sanders will take his rightful position since he was the one that won to begin with. But a senior Democrat has revealed that while the committee pleads with Clinton to step down, the decision, of course, is ultimately up to her. She may not want to step down. A security uh, source, a top source said that the Democratic Party reported saying, we can make contingencies, argue, plead with Hillary Clinton, but the DNC bylaws are clear. Her nominee status is now totally up to her. The campaign confirmed that she will not attend scheduled campaign stops in California for the next two days, and there's no comments coming out after that. Her doctor, Lisa Bardak, said, Secretary Clinton has been experiencing a cough related to allergies. On Friday, during follow-up evaluation of her prolonged cough, she was diagnosed with pneumonia. She was put on antibiotics, and advised to rest and modify her schedule. While at this morning's event, she became overheated and dehydrated. I've just examined her. She's now rehydrated and recovering nicely. Clinton's diagnosis came three days before the medical episode. That's what Lisa Bardak said. And her campaign team states that she's been overheated, but now feels much better. She later came out of her daughter's apartment looking recovered and she reassures people that she's feeling great. Beautiful day in New York. Her security detail was very surprised that she left so early. They didn't expect her to be leaving that, like, like, in that way and uh, it appears that when she was picked up her legs were completely limp leading to speculations online that she was completely unconscious when she was led away dragged into the van by her staff. I'll leave a link below for you for this on the Express UK.